Hey guys, Max here. Sorry for the lighting, sorry for the sound, but I just want to do this quick video reviewing Wi-Fi 7. Now here I have Eero Max 7. This is Wi-Fi 7 enabled mesh system. I have a three pack. Now let me start off by saying this is an amazing mesh system. I'm getting much better speeds throughout my house comparing to the previous mesh systems that I've tried. And I've tried previous Eero mesh system. I think the last one that I had was Eero 6 Pro or Eero Pro 6. Um, then prior to that I had the Nest mesh system and even though they delivered steady connection throughout the house, the speeds is what I did not like. Now I'm paying for one gigabit service from Verizon Fios, but with the previous systems, I was getting on average uh, one to 300 download. So overall, I'm definitely seeing much better speeds with this system. So if you're considering buying Euro Max 7, just solely based on the generation of this system and the coverage that it offers as well as the speeds, I think it's a great, great uh, mesh system. But this video is not about this system. This system, this video is solely based on Wi-Fi 7. Because I bought this because I watched those YouTube reviews on Wi-Fi 7 mesh systems, the routers, who claim that a Wi-Fi 7 enabled device is getting insane speeds from Wi-Fi 7 enabled system. So I had this first. Then I bought this because I figured, well, if I'm paying for one gigabit service, that's what I'm going to see. Because most of those videos that I watched on YouTube claimed that they were getting nearly connection speed as if it was connected through an Ethernet cable. But guess what? That's not true. So here I have one plus open. And if you could see next to the Wi-Fi symbol, it says seven. So this is a one plus open Wi-Fi seven enabled device. And here I have um, iPhone 15 Pro Max. They're all connected to the same Wi-Fi. Uh, if you see, it says A and B as well there too. Uh, let me just do a little testing over here. So here is the connection that this is testing Eero. This is the gateway. This is the router that's connected directly to um, the Verizon Fire. So this is the wired connection. From here, I have two additional satellites that's located in other parts of the house. Now I have over a little over 3,000 square foot house. So the three pack is pretty good comparing to what I had before, which was five pack system. Um, I do get some drops here and there, but it still keeps connection to all my devices inside the house and outside. So let's do the testing over here. Now again, this is right next to this router. This is Eero Max 7, and this is testing what it's getting from Verizon Fios. Okay, so 800 download and 911 upload. Not bad. Uh... Let's start with the testing of iPhone 15 Pro Max. So this is Wi-Fi 7 enabled and this is not. Okay, I'm usually seeing around 700. Again, I'm sorry for the lighting. Let's do one more. 
as you can see it's coming from Verizon, Verizon I'm usually seeing around 700 All right, and the last one, I'll do three tests. I mean, this is more than enough for most people. I just want to compare the Wi Fi 7 capabilities versus lesser generation of a device. So let's start with Wi-Fi 7. Again, it's connected to Verizon, Verizon. We'll do three tests. Again, it's connected, it's right next to, it's placed literally right next to the router. On average, with Wi-Fi 7, I see one third of the speeds that I'm getting on other devices and this is pretty much the lowest that I've gotten on this one generally I'm getting around 700 and above I've even seen 900 let's do another one this is right next to the router as you can see it's getting pretty good connection wired so this is definitely getting better than a Wi-Fi 7 enabled device and this is Wi-Fi 7 enabled system. Let's do the last one. And this is actually pretty good. I'm getting around usually uh, around 100 to 200 downloads. Um, the best I've seen on this one is 370 it's usually below that not even once it went over 400 this like I said went close to 900 generally on average I'm seeing downloads around 700 so let's say 600 to 800 and uploads pretty much 300 to 400 sometimes I've seen 600 um, yeah so Wi-Fi 7 enabled device is definitely getting worse, worse, worse speeds comparing to anything that's not as up to the generation of Wi-Fi 7. Now, some people might say, well, maybe there's a problem with this device. I had two other friends come with their Wi-Fi 7 enabled uh, mobile device, not the open. It was also OnePlus and same results but anyone that comes in with not a Wi-Fi 7 device getting great speeds so if you're planning to get a Wi-Fi 7 enabled device and you want to update your whole um, Wi-Fi system in a house thinking that's what you have to do because now you have a Wi-Fi 7 enabled device think twice I think a lot of systems out there are good for the generations to come maybe when we have more Wi-Fi 7 enabled devices then it's a something that sh people should consider now I did play around with the settings thinking that maybe there's something with the settings with this device I did reset reset the whole network settings that's in here and then start all over again I also reset this system I rewired I re place the positioning I've pretty much tried everything still the same outcome while this is giving much better results and I'm referring to I have a lot of devices I have a lot of phones I have a lot of tablets amazing results Wi-Fi 7 I mean this is good enough for most people I mean there's some places out there that don't even see this kind of speeds people that live out there in the mountains have to pay for outrageously expensive services in order to get internet and definitely not as fast as this based on what I've been reading online there's some people who are okay with living 50 download speeds 
So this is literally <laughs> picking at small things because this is more than enough. It's just if you want to get a Wi-Fi 7 enabled device thinking you're going to get amazing internet speeds, at this point, that's not true. So don't go out there and spend your hard-earned money thinking you're going to get the best outcome just because you have a Wi-Fi 7 enabled device. Now, I do recommend this mesh system. Love it. I get amazing speeds throughout the house. There are some slight drops here and there, but still keeps connection to all of my devices inside the house and outside the house with only three of these. Um, there's two satellite lights and this would be, let's say, the gateways right there. So three is keeping up connection all over my house than what I previously had. So hopefully, this provided some insight for those who are considering jumping the ship, meaning because you do have a Wi-Fi 7 enabled device. If you still have questions, please comment below. If you want to input something, please comment below. I really do enjoy reading most of my comments. Thank you for watching.